Witchwood Brewery out of the UK, somewhere, I believe, released a gift holiday four-pack of beers type thing, three of which I have never tried. So, trying the first of them, now-ish. What be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a bottle of Scarecrow Organic Golden Pale Ale by the Witchwood Brewery. Yes, indeed. I don't think I've ever had a pale ale by Witchwood. I've had a couple different beers by them, and I believe I've enjoyed most of them, so I'm um, hoping this one's going to be great. Let's crack her open. Actually grabbed it without looking and everything that time. Better than yesterday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Let's just see. <laughs> Ooh. Looks... Looks quite nice. That's a really, really nice golden color on it. Ooh, look at how pretty. That is damn pretty beer. So much, oh yeah. This just looks so nice. Really nicely carbonated from what I can see. Not the most amazing aroma, I gotta say. I don't even know how to describe that smell. Um, let's give her a shot. Okay. That's pretty boring. Seriously. I don't, I'm not getting any kind of pale ale out of that. I call bullshit. Not bad, or anything like that, it's just nothing like any pale ale I have ever had in my life. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody! It's okay, it's just really not anything. Like a little bit of, it almost tastes a little bit like a Pilsner or something, to me. I don't understand. Today being November 30th, on this date in 1864, part of the American Civil War, the Battle of Franklin took place. The Confederate Army of Tennessee, led by General John Bell Hood, mounted a dramatically unsuccessful frontal assault on Union positions commanded by John, McCallic, John, McCallic, John McAllister Schofield around Franklin, Tennessee, with Hood losing six generals and almost a third of his troops. Yeah. Fuck you guys and you're wanting to keep the slavery. Yeah. If it was a Pilsner, I'd be almost commending it for being quite drinkable. Decent little bit of maltiness there. But it's supposed to be a golden pale ale. I don't understand. On this date in 1872, the first ever international football match, like soccer football, took place at Hamilton Crescent in Glasgow between Scotland and England. I'm not a big soccer fan myself, but I'm sure that was a pretty big deal when it happened a long time ago. I'm very much hoping that the uh, other two beers, like those four beers in the four pack, one of them was the legendary Ruby beer that I reviewed a long time ago. So that one's not going to be re-reviewed because, well, it, maybe it should. I don't think I gave it a number rating when I had it. A lot of beers still need to be re-reviewed like that. But there's this one, some Dr. Thirsty type thing, and then some kind of Imperial Red beer. But the Imperial Red Beer is like 5%. It just seems unusual to me. Imperial beers are usually a little on the strong side. I 
I just hope it's not quite as boring as this. Organically grown English barley malt and whole leaf target hops combine to evoke lazy, hazy days of summer in this serenely satisfying golden harvest brew. Brewed and bottled in the UK, brigged oak blah blah blah. It changed language. I thought it was just some weird UK type word right there, but no, they just put a slash and then went into the different language. Sure. Contains barley malt. And apparently that's it. Really. That's your ingredient list. That could be better. 4.7% alcohol. And then there's a really interesting little lab, little uh, warning there from the UK Health Department. It says, UK Health Departments recommend adults do not regularly exceed, for men, 3 to 4 units daily, and women are 2 to 3 units daily. Apparently this is 2.4 UK units. Really? So... Have one and a half? Really? Of a 4.7% beer? Okay. That's, uh... Kind of... Pansy-ish? You know, like, fuck. Have two or three of those every day and be fine. I could. It's it's a lot like that Pilsner I had from the uh, Buck. No, not Buck Phillips. They 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 made the, they made the Buck beer as well, which I liked. The Phillips Pilsner. If the Phillips Pilsner had tasted like this, I probably would have given it felt a better rating. If that makes any sense. On this date, in 1954, in Sil. Sila Kauga? Sila Kauga? Maybe? In Alabama? The Hodges meteorite crashed through the roof, through a roof, and hit a woman taking an afternoon nap. And that is the only documented case in the Western Hemisphere of a human being being hit by a rock from space. That would be freaky as hell. <laughs> like, just hole right through your roof and... I, I imagine she died. Doesn't say. I will check. She lived? That's damn impressive. It was like, it was size, the size of a grapefruit. So falling from the sky, it crashed through the roof of her house, bounced off a large wooden console, like an old school big radio, and then hit her while she was napping on the couch. She was badly bruised on one side of her body, but she could still walk and she was fine. That's insane. It seems only two other cases of people being hit by meteorites were ever recorded. Some guy in 1677 who was killed, and then some young girl, young boy, sorry, in Uganda in 1992. But he lived. Crazy. Huh. Interesting shit happened in the past. I wish some more interesting shit was going on right now. A little boring. On this date in 1982, Michael Jackson's second solo album, Thriller. Got the thriller! thriller. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It became the best-selling album in history. And these days, with the way that you know, piracy and digital media. That's probably never ever going to be topped. Like, who's bigger than Michael Jackson was? Nobody? <laughs> Adele? Kinda? Maybe? To some people? But I don't like her, so I like some Michael Jackson stuff. I don't know. Weird. Yeah. And this isn't old. I've had this for not even a month. Finally, in 
Finally on this date, in 1998, Exxon and Mobil signed a $73.7 billion agreement to merge, thus creating Exxon Mobil, the world's largest company. And if humanity as a whole would get its head out of its ass and stop burning dead dinosaurs for fuel, that world's biggest company could go fuck themselves. Yeah. And they can go fuck themselves. This beer can kind of go fuck itself. Drink number the last. Just... Nothing like any pale ale I have ever had in my life. Witchwood Brewery, your Scarecrow Organic Golden Pale Ale. Rating is five and a half. Because it's just, it's not right. The flavor is fucking wrong. Fix your shit. Hey, and that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink vlog tomorrow. Peace out! You're supposed to be brewers of character, Witchwood. Your, your ruby ale is like one of the tastiest fucking beers in the world. You should be kind of ashamed by this bottle of lies.